section 5 all right let's start Question one. Question one comes from paper three of twenty ten. Question four B. We start with part A. Factorize completely two y plus eight y squared. We take the numbers, 2 is a common factor, the letters, we take the smallest power, which is just y. So, 2y divided by 2y, you remain with 1, plus 8 divided by 2, it's 4. y, we remove 1, so we are left with 1y. So, that is it. We go to the next. It says, solve this equation. So, we have 36 equals to 4x minus 3. Alright, so first thing is we divide by 4. So we get 9 equals to x minus 3. We bring the negative 3 this side, it becomes a positive 3 equals to x. So 12 equals to x. That's how we solve the equation. All right. From there, we go to part C. Part C says solve for x. So this is a quadratic which is almost done. So the way to think about this, think of, let's say, Let's say that there are two numbers, y times y. Because remember, brackets means multiply. And you are told that they are equal to zero. So one of them has to be equal to zero. Because remember, when you multiply anything by zero, it's zero. So if this is a two, the other one has to be... Sorry, it can't be y by y. Let's say it's y by z. So if this is a 2, then the z has to be a 0. If this is a 3, then the z has to be a 0. If the z is a 2, then the y will be a 0. One of them has to be a 0. That's what we are just saying. So, either x minus 7 is 0, or x plus 3 is 0. We take the negative 7 to the other side, it becomes x equals to positive 7. Or, we take the positive 3 to the other side, it becomes x equals to negative 3. So, don't try to expand. I know students will try to expand and then make the question complicated. It's almost done. You are just saying if two numbers are multiplying each other, as shown by the brackets, it means one of the brackets has to be 0. D. So for y, we have that. So similar thing. 2y minus 6 multiplied by y plus 5 equals to 0. One of the brackets So we don't know which one. So that's why we say 2y minus 6 must be equal to 0. Or y plus 5 equals to 0. So 2y, we take the 6 to that side, it becomes a positive. We divide by 2, we divide by 2. So y is 3. Or y equals to, take the 5 there, it becomes negative 5. 
So those are your two answers. Three or negative five. We look for number two. We know number two came from paper one, 2013, question nine. It says factorize completely and you are given four x squared plus 12 x y. So numbers four and 12, four is a factor. Let us x squared and x, so x is the small x, but y we have nothing. So we remove 4 and one of the x's, we remain with just one x. 12 divided by 4 gives you 3. We remove the x, so we are left with only the y. So like that, it's done. Go back to the top. We try to work out number three. And we know three came from paper three, 2013, question four. So what do we have? Show that the inequality negative two, smaller than x, smaller than or equal to three on a given number line. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we know we are going to draw a circle at negative 2. So we have a circle here. And since it's just a less than sign, which is not less than equal, we leave the circle empty. And we have another circle here at 3. But since it's less than or equal to, we shade it. That's all they wanted to see. And then we know that our x is in between. That's it for part A. Then we go to part B. Part B says, choose one of the following signs, less than, greater than, or equal to, to make the following statements true. Given that our m is negative 7, our n is 4. So we know negative 7 is definitely less than n which is 4. And then number 2. What about m squared and n squared? So m squared equals to negative 7 squared which is 49 n squared it's 4 squared which is 16 so definitely m squared is greater than n squared don't put the negative 7 squared without brackets you must remember that Let's make it NB. Negative 7 squared is not equal to negative 7 squared. This one gives you negative 49. This one gives you 49. So make sure you always put your brackets whenever you're squaring a negative number. All right. We move on number four number four says and it comes from paper 3 2013 question 5 and it says the sum of the following three consecutive numbers is 36 use is simple motion to form an equation in n
So we know that if you take n, you add n plus 1, you add n plus 2, you must get 36. That's the equation. Now we solve that equation. We know we add together the n's, it becomes 3n plus 3 equals to 36. 3n equals to 36 minus 3. 3n equals to 33. We divide by 3. So our n equals to 11. Our n equals to 11. Simple, huh? Part B. So for A in that, so again, you always meet questions where it's almost done for you. One of the bracket must be equal to zero or a plus five equals to zero. So a, when you take negative two to the side, it becomes positive. When you take positive five to the right hand side, it becomes negative. That is it. Let's look at number five. Number five comes from paper three, 2015. Question eight. We start with part question A. Question A says, Yako works at a restaurant. Yako works at a restaurant. At night, he earns a total of W Namibian dollars per night. He is paid a fixed amount per hour. And works for H hours. Yako also receives tips to the amount of T, 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 T dollars. The formula for his wage is W equals to 25 dollars, 25 times H hours plus t write down the number write down the fixed amount per hour that yako ends so the fixed amount that does not depends on the hours so remember his wage is w equals to 25 hour plus t so from there we know that this is variable this one is the fixed because it's not dependent on the time. So write down the amount fixed, fixed amount. His fixed amount is, is it Right, so A, write down the fixed amount per hour, fixed amount per hour. So we know that W, we know that is wage equals to 25H plus T. So remember, this part is getting it every hour, $25 every hour, because that's the one dependent on hours. 
therefore fixed amount per hour is $25 and then B on a certain night Yako worked four hours and received tips to total sixty dollars. How much did he earn? So he earned W equals to twenty-five for four hours plus sixty tips. One hundred plus sixty. He earned himself a clean one hundred and sixty. Okay. Now make H the subject of the formula. So we have W equals to 25 H plus T. First thing, if you want to make H, we take everything that has nothing to do with H to one side. So we take the T to the other side. So it becomes W minus T equals to 25H. Now we are left with 25H to re remove the 25 since it's multiplying the H, you divide by 25. The whole thing. So H equals to W minus T over 25. like that number six number six comes from paper one of 2014 question seven Factorize completely for x y plus three x. So numbers four and three, there is no common factor. Letters x and x, there is an x. Y and there is no y, so we just have an x outside. We will remain with four y plus three. It is factorized completely. Go to number seven. Number seven comes from paper one of 2014, question nine. And it wants us to solve the equation. So that's a simple linear equation. We have 8x, we take the 7 to the other side, it becomes 31 minus 7. 8x is 24. We divide by 8, we divide by 8, so x is 3. We move on to... Number nine. Number nine comes from sorry, number eight. Okay, so eight nineteen. Number eight. Number eight comes from paper one twenty sixteen. Question 5. Simplify the following expression. So you have 2a plus 3b plus 5a minus 7b. We know we want things that are similar to deal with each other. Okay. So we have 2a plus 5a, 
then you have 3b minus 7b 2a plus 5a it's 7a 3b minus 4b it's negative 4b and it's done We look at number five, number nine. Number nine comes from paper one of 2016, question 26. We start with A. George thinks of a number X, he multiplies it by two and then subtracts five. So X multiply by 2 then subtract 5 which means 2x minus 5 very simple okay then b he says the expression in part a is equal to 10 write down an equation and solve it so that expression is equal to 10 that's our equation so we take the 5 to the other side, it becomes a positive 5. So your 2x is 15, we divide by 2, so x is 7.5. Okay. Number 10. Number 10 comes from paper 3, 2016, question 8. So number 10 starts. A, solve for x. So you have x over 4 equals to 6. So what we do, first multiply by 4 to get rid of the fraction. So it becomes 4 times x over 4 equals to 6 times 4. So that will cancel that, remaining with x equals to 6 times 4, it's 24. And 10b, 10b says solve the equation. So you have 5 and you have a minus 4 equals to 3a plus 14. So first thing is to expand the bracket. 5 times a gives you 5a. 5 times 4 gives you 20. That's 3a plus 14. We group like terms, meaning things that have A on one side, things that don't have A to one side. So 5A minus 3A equals to 14 plus 20. 5A minus 3A gives you 2A. 14 plus 20 gives you 34. So what's left is to divide by 2 there. So your A is 17. So that is that for algebra number two. We'll catch each other in algebra number three.